The video is sponsored by Galaxy Lamps. Stay tuned for more about leprechauns. On St. Paddy's Day, the color green represents clovers. The Green Rangers are not leprechauns, but they are an important part of the Power Rangers team. Today we'll explore the history of the Green Rangers and see where they started and where they are now. First, let's talk about Tommy Oliver, the Mighty Morphin Green Ranger. He started as an evil ranger but eventually joined the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. He was replaced by the White Ranger. Now let's move on to the Saban era. In Power Ranger Zeo, Adam became the Green Ranger after being the Black Ranger. He later gave up his powers to Carlos. In Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, Damon became the Green Ranger with the power of wind. He was a senior mechanic and an amateur boxer. In Power Rangers Turbo, Trip became the Green Ranger. He was from the future and had the ability to read minds and predict the future. In Ninja Storm, we had our first Green Ranger since Tommy. He was a tech geek and a Ninja Academy dropout who eventually joined the team. In the Disney era, we had Bridge, Xander, and Ziggy, who were all funny Green Rangers in their own ways. Bridge could read auras and stopped a bank robber. Xander tried to charm his way out of situations, and Ziggy was a criminal turned accidental ranger. In Jungle Fury, we had the Spirit Ranger, who was green in a spiritual form. In the Neo Saban era, Mike from Samurai and Super Samurai became the Green Ranger. He initially didn't take the samurai stuff seriously, but grew to become a respected member. Finally, in Super Megaforce, Jake, who was originally the Black Ranger, became the Green Ranger. He was a class clown who liked soccer. That concludes our journey through the history of the Green Rangers.